face, Ozempic face, Ozempic face. Ozempic, it is literally the hottest drug in the country right now. Ozempic has been creating waves in India, especially over the last few months, especially after Karan Johar posted a selfie and I was looking at the comment section and people were going like, Ozempic face, Ozempic transformation. And then Ram Kapoor came with this transformation and people again went, it's an Ozempic transformation. And as someone who was overweight two years back, I was at 135 kgs. I'm at close to 100 now. I've lost a lot of weight without Ozempic, by the way. But I would like to talk about challenges some people face when they are extremely overweight. And I hope this video gives you some perspective. And instead of judging people who are losing weight, you can look at their side of the story. Look at it from their perspective as well. So first thing, what does Ozempic actually do? Ozempic is actually a brand name. It's a prescription drug given to people who are trying to get out of type 2 diabetes or at least control their type 2 diabetes where it helps regulating your blood sugar level by releasing, helping releasing more insulin. Insulin helps in uh, managing your blood sugar, reducing your blood sugar so that it doesn't stay high all the time. So in people with type 2 diabetes, your body finds it hard to do that. And that's what Ozempic does. Another thing that Ozempic does is it controls your hunger levels and it stops food from getting out of your stomach very fast. That way you will stay fuller for longer and that in the long run might avoid you from overeating. See, first thing what you need to understand is a lot of people can get overweight because of overeating, which is very common. Calories in, calories out. If you eat too much for too long and over a period of time, you might end up gaining 20 to 30 kgs. But because of gaining those 20 to 30 kgs, there can be a lot of changes that happen in your body. Of course, physically you will look way more bigger, way more fatter. But internally, there can be a lot of changes. You develop insulin resistance, which means your body doesn't release insulin the way it should. And this causes your blood sugar levels to stay elevated. And if you are unlucky and if you don't take action immediately, your body develops insulin resistance and then eventually type 2 diabetes. The worst impact of weight gain that I felt and I see a lot of my clients face as well is psychological which means your energy levels are extremely low, your motivation levels, even if you want to try, you don't want to, meaning it's something that you can't explain. You wake up in the morning, you, you want to do something, but you feel like, you know what, I just don't want to. Feeling depressed, depression, weight gain can cause depression. A lot of hormonal changes can go on in the body and that can make you feel depressed, which might make you eat more because some people can eat emotionally. Your hunger hormones, are all over the place you feel hungry all the time so you want to eat more and you keep gaining more weight over time now because of this from insulin resistance you develop actual type 2 diabetes and you get diagnosed with type 2 diabetes but if you don't go to a doctor you won't be diagnosed so over time it gets so bad that it can't be reversed. Another thing that I mentioned, which is your hunger hormones. You are not able to control your hunger. You are craving sugary stuff. You're craving junk food all the time. It's not that you always want to eat junk food. Your body has just become that way because of abuse over the years. Now, 20 to 30% of people might actually want to try losing weight. And this is when they might approach a doctor who might look at their condition, they have type 2 diabetes, their hunger levels are absolutely all over the place. And this is when a doctor might prescribe something like this. And this is why medications like Ozempic and Monjaro were made. You will see a trend where people over the age of 40 are using this because your chances of reversing diabetes or insulin resistance goes down when you are at that age. And if you're extremely overweight, it might be harder for you to lose weight at that age. So if your doctor feels that you need to use a drug like this to help you lose weight, then I don't think there is anything wrong in doing so. Also remember that these Bollywood actors and influencers have enough money in their pocket to make sure they get the best doctor, best drug from the best place. Their diet will be monitored by a nutritionist. Their workouts will be monitored by a proper personal trainer as well. But if someone like you who might not have proper access to nutritionists and personal trainers, you have to be extremely careful. But even if you do, make sure that you talk to a doctor check your levels and only then get on things like Ozempic. Now let's talk about side effects. What happens with Ozempic is you are already trying to lose weight. You are in a calorie deficit but Ozempic and other drugs like these can make your hunger levels go down which might prevent you from eating enough food. So what will happen is you might lose weight extremely fast. When you lose weight extremely fast what can happen is your face 
get sucked in you might get loose skin but the worst thing that can happen is you lose a lot of muscle mass as well a common trend among ozempic related transformations is that they look extremely skinny and they lose a lot of their muscle mass so if you take ozempic i'm sure your doctor will tell you that you will lose weight but you have to lead a normal lifestyle so this is where my problem with ozempic is a common problem with ozempic can be people focus on the drug without focusing on habits if you don't change your habits in the short run if you don't develop those habits over a long period of time you might gain all that weight back after you stop taking ozempic if you lose 50 kg you might not gain all the 50 kg back but you might gain 10 to 15 kg of that back because you'll be gaining a lot of water weight you have not changed your habits because of which if that drug is not helping you you might go back to your old habits and you might put on weight we still don't know what long term usage of this medications can do so be careful if you are doing it without your doctor's advice and please do not buy it from a source you are not aware of and finally please do not judge people who lose weight after using these prescription drugs because you don't know what the battle was they might have been in a place where they might have even lost their life if they did not lose weight So weight loss no matter what the situation is is always going to be better than being extremely obese and overweight. Let me know what you think about Ozempic, Monjaro and these types of drugs in the comment section down below. I hope you take this video in a positive light but I think you have to be very careful about these drugs because the long term side effects are not known.